Welcome back to the channel everyone. I hope you are doing absolutely well. This is AD back with another video. So in this video, I'll be reviewing the AX ROM based on Android 10 and official 4G Redmi Note 5 Pro. So without any further ado, let's now get started. <laughs> So here is my Redmi Note 5 Pro running the AX ROM and official. Let me first show the about device section before talking about anything else. So going into the about phone and the Android version. As you can see, the Android version is obviously Android 10, which is expected. And the security patch is of January 1st, 2020. And as you can see, the extended version, it says version 7.0 Aurora Alpha build. It's not Alpha, it's working fine by the way and talking about other stuff as you can see the kernel here is the ancient eas kernel version is 4.4.210 i'll be talking about battery life and performance in the later part so do watch this video until the end so talking about other stuff going back as you can see xiaomi parts is also available here and it gave a force close over here that was for the first time actually and yep it's working as you can see the mi sound enhancer is present over here it was also present in the evolution x room and it's even present in this one as you can see all the headphone effects are present and most of them work fine i didn't test each and every one i just tested some random ones and it was working well thermal settings as you can see it's on balance you can put it to performance battery gaming etc there is no any major difference when we switch from these settings so talking about other stuff like xiaomi dose as you can see ambient display is enabled and it's enabled for new notifications by the way not for always on display color collaboration i just don't recommend you guys to mess up with that if you don't know what is that if you know and if you want to try it out then yes you can do that talking about security fingerprint scanner is working absolutely well let me show you the speed as you can see you need to wait for one second after locking the device then and all it will recognize your finger that's there smart lock let me show you some smart lock features okay as you can see over here only three options are available let me just check it out once again here it is i installed bits g app the latest version which is like micro g apps and yes play store is there and a couple of small applications are there apart from that you need to download other things like youtube etc i only got play store so apart from that talking about the display option as you can see all the standard stuff is present over here like the accent color night light let us try it out standard android 10 features you can customize it here i mean change the intensity of it from there it's so talking about other stuff like wi-fi bluetooth etc everything is working absolutely well i didn't had any issues even the volt is working fine as you can see lt is also working fine and let me show you the customization options here it is guys first on the list is the status bar items and second clock settings you can customize your clock as you can see basic settings are over here network traffic monitor can be enabled on the status bar like this it will show your current upload and download speeds that's really nice qs panel i mean this panel you can change it if you want to as you can see let me put flip animation let's try it out here it is working well so going back and talking about other stuff navigation there is simply nothing over here as you can see nothing over there talking about the lock screen customization lock screen ui you have only two options over here as you can see and lock screen shortcuts lock screen tuner which i don't know for sure what it does and talking about extensions general tweaks three finger screenshot works well and talking about the buttons power menu is over here and advanced restart is enabled by default i didn't enable that so talking about music controls etc as you can see volume rocker wake is also there let us try it out working well and let me disable that so these are some of the customization options available there are no any major customization options but yeah all the required ones are there and as you can see it was working well they might give a force close at times but till now i didn't had any force close with them so talking about the performance in this room let me show you my last antero score really quick so going into the antero benchmark as you can see i've got a score of 1 lakh 15,988 and it's slightly higher than the evolution x room too let me show you the details so if you want more details you can pause the screen and have a look at it as you can see here they are talking about general performance it's good i don't have any complaints with general performance but youtube was giving lags here and there randomly in like extended usage yes when i just forwarded the video then it was giving lags and it had force closed once i think 
that was one issue with YouTube, but not a major issue it's working fine and talking about the pubg gameplay pubg was running absolutely well i didn't had any issues with pubg mobile it was running fine but when i compare pubg gameplay of this rom and evolution x rom evolution x rom has slightly better performance in pubg i can definitely notice that because this was giving like frame drops slight frame drops in extended usage but with evolution x rom that was not the case it was working absolutely well nevertheless the performance is good and graphics are on hd and frame rate was on high it was working well but i was playing on smooth and high which is a great combo for this device so talking about other stuff as you can see here are the application that comes installed apart from pubg youtube and Antro 2 all other apps can be installed with this rom retro music player is there and the sound output is really good in this rom i didn't have any issues with that and camera app is also there as you can see mi camera works well the portrait mode has that same issue like in sometimes when you shake the device like this it gives force close but for most of the time it's working well general photos and videos work well so talking about the video let me show you the settings and as you can see here are the settings 4k let us try it out as you can see it's working well this fluctuations on the screen is because of the light no issue with the camera so that's about the camera application in this room so guys this was a quick little review of the aex room and official running on the redmi note 5 pro so that's pretty much it for this video if you liked it please give it a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this all the download links will be in the description for the g apps and for the room so do check it out also follow me on instagram and facebook i'm active over there you can ask me any questions regarding tech this is all about technology 24 7 signing off for the moment you guys have a great day peace